Welcome back to Libra Queen Week Reviews. You already know it's your girl, Libra's Queen. You guys, I know I've been distant for about like three to four weeks. And y'all, if I had, if I could sit here and tell you every reason why I haven't been posting, I would do that. But that would be a long list of reasons, right? I feel like my mental health is very important. And I know you guys hear that from a lot of YouTubers because it is definitely facts. Sometimes, you know, we overwork ourselves and we get too deep and we start like forgetting about the other important things in our life you're here because i am past my 500 milestone oh my god it's like i i don't know i already felt like i felt like i already celebrated off camera the excitement that i have for reaching 1000 subscribers and i know i promised you guys a wig giveaway which i'm still doing i actually will be announcing the winner but before i hop into the video today's video will be sponsored by nice human hair wigs it's spelled with a y not a e but um yes uh they are sponsoring today's video they are also they also provided a beautiful unit for me to review for you guys and we're gonna get into that later the winner is your highness um i don't know i'm I don't know if she wants me to like put her on the screen, but yes, she won the wig on Instagram. And I also will be announcing that on Instagram. I haven't shipped the wig off yet because I wanted to wait to make the video. But yes, your highness is the winner. She has been being so consistent with sharing my post. She has brought me multiple people that has subscribed to my channel. And I just felt very appreciated by her. She always watches my lives. She's there, she always comments just the consistency I, I love it i love it i am past 500 subscribers i am at a thousand so that means i am monetized on youtube it does require 4,000 watch hours and i had exceeded that i had ex exceeded the 1,000 mark i have exceeded the amount of videos i need so i yes i am monetized for the people who are wondering i am gonna start you know getting that little, that little cheddar but um i also want to mention that my lash business will be released this month um i'm not exactly sure on the day but my days off of work for my other jobs that's when i will be working on my um page i already got the picture taken i already got the product i already got everything it's really just um down to like the the whole website thing and how i'm gonna have you guys purchasing things like that so don't think i forgot you guys again things take time perfection is no such thing as perfection but it's a such thing as improvement and i am improving in <laughs> The amount of time that I spend doing certain things, I should be dedicating that time to you guys because you guys did get me to where I am. And I do appreciate that so, 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 so much. And I did promise you guys that after my first giveaway, I will be doing multiple giveaways every month. Uh, my next giveaway will be my lashes my la for my lash business. I do want you guys to test out my product. So one of you guys will be the lucky winner. There is no like way to enter exactly, but just support me and then you might be the winner. Comment on my videos, you might be the winner. Be on, um, be on my Instagram page, you might be the winner. All right, you guys, we're just going to hop straight into the video. I'm giving like, this is basically the way I install my wigs, but I am not giving a tutorial, if that makes sense. But, um, so this is the unit that you see right in front of me. This is a 13 by 4, 18 inch wig. And it already came with the middle part. It didn't come pre-plucked. I did pluck it. I'm not the best at plucking, but I do my best. You know what I'm saying? So, um, one thing I could say about this hair is if you get it wet, just be prepared for red dye to leak down your body. Um, I did not wet it, but like I tried wetting it a little bit and yeah. It's a bomb wig, so it comes with a strap. It comes with the regular cones. Um, they leave a, a nice, decent middle four-inch part back, I guess. But I've had better 13 by 4s This wig is kind of pricey. It was $176 before taxes, okay? But again, it was well worth it. I mean, it was sponsored, but this is a great quality wig. Um, of course, the dye is going to leak. Like, it looks... You see how, like, bold the color is? okay anyways that's the wig um i will display more pictures of it like with the way it looks on the screen i will have the link in the description down below but what you see me doing here is seeing how much of lace i can work with um normally i grab a sharpie and i mark where i will be applying the glue so that when i put the glue on i don't od it like i don't go crazy um normally when i put glue i put about um 
like five layers of glue you guys um i'm really good at putting a lot of glue because i my wigs stay down for two like at least two weeks if i don't have to do another sponsorship at least two weeks but this is a, a great method i developed and i really really love it so much it's helped me like be way more neat when it comes to like cutting my legs when it comes to applying the glue but y'all know i had the um i didn't put the cap on on the i don't know i just it's not about the cap okay i put makeup on the lace um i don't i don't i don't, I don't think i put the kind of powder that i put in there but just know that i put that makeup on there it was powder foundation okay i put that on everything and i put so much that even went through the lace and got on the hair but that's not an issue that's not the issue yeah but in the next clip you'll just see me applying the glue i don't really have to say too much it's very self-explanatory i did kind of use the rest of my glue and that little brush you see me holding in my hand is what i use to like smear the glue around i don't use the brush side you'll see you'll see Now, one thing I could say about um, applying lace glue, you it's a matter of how evenly you spread it. So if you don't put an even layer across your head, other parts will, will dry before, you know, the others. You know, so if you have a thin layer in one area, but a thick layer in the other of glue, then the thin layer will dry before the other. And it's just not going to, it's not going to work out. So me... I've done this so many times that I kind of just wing it. But if like if you always wonder why the glue is still showing and why it's not drying quick enough, it's because you're not putting an even amount all throughout the hair. That's why I use this little brush thing. It helps me evenly like, you know, put it across. But like I said, I put like three to five layers. It depends on how generous I'm feeling. I use, um, I feel like if you, if you watch my other videos, I say it all the time what kind of glue I use. So if you want to know what kind of glue I use, go check out my other videos. I'm pretty sure my last two previous videos, uh, I told you guys what glue I use, what spray I use, like all of that good stuff. And if you, if you're a real day one, you know, you know what kind of glue I'm using, honey. And that glue, I would never switch up on it. I tried. I did a review. If you go check out my other video, I tried to do a review on a different glue. And I did not like it. So, yeah, this is my baby right here. That That's my glue glue. And, I, you know, what's crazy. Like, I recently just took off that wig that I, I like, literally, as I'm editing, I took, I've been took this wig off because I have to do another sponsorship. And I was just wearing my natural hair. And I have not felt so, like... I don't know i haven't worn my natural hair in so long but it feels so good like i forgot what it feels like to be natural i forgot because i always wear the wear the cornrows and stuff but yeah yeah five layers honey five layers hey 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 get it get it get it Okay, so it's like, you know how you, when you over dry something, it gets like that crusty look. Like that glue right there is dry. Like I know it doesn't look like it, but that glue is dry. I'm going to be installing the wig probably in the next clip. But yeah, that, that wig is death. I mean, that glue is definitely dry. I know it's dry when it gets a little crusty. That's what I go for. So the glue doesn't like seep through the lace. So I used to have a very bad, like, I was so impatient. I used to just throw the wig on with the glue being, like, hella wet still. And it would mess up my lace. But I learned. I learned from my mistakes, y'all. So you can see the black lines. I'm trying to, like, make sure I line it up really good. And I don't OD the um, Sharpie because I want to be able to take it off. I'm feeling myself. I just know I look like a bad bitch. I just know it. Y'all like how I did my eyebrows too? That's death makeup. 
I haven't the reason I've been wearing makeup on my eyebrows because I haven't had time to go to the nail shop. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna go get it done. Should I do it today? I don't know. Y'all see in my next video my eyebrows looking looking waxed or not. They might not be, so you so you're not technically supposed to use your hands to lay the glue down. I mean to lay the lace down, but me I'm not, I'm not like everyone, okay? These hands are magic. They're magic. You know, this is the shit, this is the reason why I don't do videos um, of me installing my wig, because I take a long time. I had to really narrow this video down, but, oh my God, this wig is giving. It's giving. It's giving, bad bitch. This is my third, y'all. I got three red wigs. Hey, it's moving. Get into it. Get it. 18 inches is it feel longer than 18 inches. I ain't gonna cap. And I love me some long hair, so I wish I could listen to what I was uh the music I was listening to, which I feel bad, but I'm gonna make sure I inst put some good background music for you guys. You let me know. Yeah, so this is my crusty little band that I put on, and it, I feel like it doesn't, uh, the elastic part doesn't, like, get tight enough, so I have to tie it. I blow dry, so y'all, I feel like heat is magic. Like, literally, heat will will do something to you. Like, I literally use heat when I, after I put the makeup on, I use heat for everything. So, okay, right here, um, as you can see, I don't have to do this with all my wigs, but sometimes I go in and I just put, um, powder before I cut it and I smear it real good across the lace so it can help blend it when I once I cut it because once I take the lace off I don't want to have to deal with any like glue you know what I'm saying so I feel like it's good to take care of all that stuff before you cut the lace now like I said I don't do this all the time I only do this with my new wigs because you know I have to show up and show out. Come on. And it actually makes my scalp look like really nice. Like I really love it. Damn, I'm fine as fuck. If I was a man, I would most definitely get to it to me. I'm bad as hell. I ain't okay. I know I'm bad. I ain't even. Who am I telling? If you listen to me, you know I'm bad too. Don't don't lie. Y'all, one thing I don't take is, like, uh, body pics. It's because I really don't have any style, you guys. Like, I got a lot of clothes, but not a lot of good clothes. Anyways, off topic, um, right now what you just seen in my hand was my makeup remover. I used to take that with a Q-tip and I wipe across my forehead. Get all that excess off and, you know, I have to have a clean forehead, you guys. But you see that glow of the makeup that I put on there? I, I for some reason, I just like the way that looks. Like, I don't know what it is, but I love that. I'll take, I'm also taking the Sharpie off, too, if you haven't noticed. I did skip a big part because, um, you guys, if I would show everything that I did, this video would be hella, hella long. And I don't got time for that. But right now, I'm just doing my baby hairs. And that's exactly why I said this isn't a hair tutorial. This is more of you guys just seeing how I install. Yeah. But, oh, y'all, baby hairs sometimes just be tragic out here. I didn't put no heat to this wig because I really didn't want to deal with, like, anything. And it already came pre-parted. You can still see the ashiness from the makeup, but whatever. I just wanted to show you guys how nice this wig is. Like, it's so pretty and it's moving. I love when a dyed wig comes moving and it just be, like, that shit is so bomb. I end up, at, later, like, in the week, I did end up adding more baby hairs, like, along the sides. And I don't know. I just wanted some more. And I kind of fixed it up a little bit. I was being a little, I ain't gonna lie, I was being a little lazy in this video. Like I said, this was just mainly a... Uh, just a review again this is a 13 by 4 18 inch wig it was on the pricey end and i'm sorry about that but yeah if you guys enjoyed today's video um yeah let me know down below in the comments um i will be doing giveaways every month again rewatch to begin of my video to see you know get all the deeds and yeah i hope you enjoyed the video peace Ciao. Um, um, I don't know what else to say. Anyways, get into it. Get into it.